I'm going to show you today how to make a very simple um, loop that counts today using Google Scripts. So I'm going to create a new program. Um, oh, try to do this again. I'm going to try to create a new program. I'm going to call this loop. Loop that counts. How about that? Uh, so you notice line one is filled in for me. I'll do a little hashtag and I'll say this. This is a loop that counts. This is just a remark. So if you start with a hashtag, uh, the um, everything after the hashtag is ignored. I'm going to say uh, let's count from from 1 to 10. Uh, so first of all I need to choose a variable that's doing my counting. So I'm going to use x. So I'm going to start off with x starting at 1. And for there's more than one way to do a loop in Python and in vPython. I'm going to use a uh, while statement. And so um, the while you, we're going to create a condition, and while that condition is true, it will continue to run the loop. So in this case, I want the condition to be, well, when do we need to stop? We want it to stop when x is equal to 10. So I'm going to say while x is less than 10, and then one thing I forget a lot is I need a, a colon. So there's the colon. Now when I hit enter, notice that it indents. So the way uh, Python um, uses the indent to to show that it is inside of a loop. And when something is not indented, it's after the loop is over. Um, so now we need to increase x. So the first time x is uh, encounters line 8, it still has a value of 1 from line 5. So we need to make x 1 larger. This may look like I'm breaking the rules of math, um, but it's different than in math. Um, in math, I would say this is just simply a not true statement. What this does is it takes on the right hand side the old value of x, which the first time would be 1, and adds 1 to it, so that would be 2. And then the equal sign actually means what's on the right hand side, I'm going to assign that to whatever's on the left hand side. So in other words, after this is run, x is going to increase from 1 to 2. Um, I guess it'd probably be a good idea to print what x is as well. And I think I'm going to put that, I'm going to change the order, I'm going to print the x first. My experience has been it's always good to do the increase at the very end of the loop. Okay, so let's try that now and let's just see what happens when I run this program. So it went from 1 all the way up to 9, but it did not include 10. So that's interesting. So the last time that it went um, from, oh, that it was 9. So it, let's say that it's gone through the loop a bunch of times and that x is currently 9. So it says while x is less than 10. Is 9 less than 10? Yes. So it goes to line 8 and it prints 9. And then it says uh, x is equal to x plus 1. So it becomes 10 and then it does not run the loop anymore. So it drops out of the loop. So if I want it to... Um, include that 10, I can say while well, x is less than or equal to 10. Let's run that program. Oh, now it went up to 10. Okay, so that's one way to run it. Uh, so that works. Let's try, let's try um, making it count from 1 to 100. So if I wanted to make it from 1 to 100, it's pretty straightforward. We just say 100. And if I run this program, there it goes all the way up and I can scroll up and see all those numbers in there. Um, what if I wanted to count uh, jump by twos? I could say x is equal to x plus two and then it would run and you're going to see it's all the odd numbers because I started at one. What if I wanted all the even numbers? Hmm, instead of starting from one I could start from zero and then it would include zero and jump by twos. Uh, let's try something else. What if I wanted to count the other direction? Let's see if I wanted to count from 100 uh, back to 0 and I wanted it to go down by 5's. So I would change line 9 to say x equals x minus 5 uh, and I'm going to try this. I don't think it's going to work the first time. So when I run this program it, oh, it's, it might be stuck here. Uh, so the problem here is that now if I'm starting at 100 and I'm going down by 5 every time, this while statement, x the first time is going to be 100, the second time will be 95, the third time will be 90. So if I'm looking at that, x while x is less than or equal to 100, 
that's always going to be a true statement because x is only going to get smaller and so it will always be smaller or equal to 100. So it's going to be stuck in that loop the entire time. So if I'm counting backwards, I've got to change this one. So maybe while x is greater than or equal to, where would I like it to stop? How about at 0? So let's try that and run this program. Okay, so now it seems to work just fine. Okay, I hope that uh, helps and um, if you can check um, the comments below, there's going to be some suggested practice exercises.